Hello there everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. We have now uh, an object in front of two lenses. Now, some optical instruments such, such as telescopes and other optical instruments will use more than one lens. Some of them we will use three. Uh, some um, advanced telescopes will do that. And uh, microscopes will also uh, use a lens or two. And um, there is many applications for that. So if there is an object in front of a system of lenses, in this case we have two lenses, how would this object uh, look like in front of these two lenses. Basically, we're trying to find out the properties of the image of this object in front of these two lenses. The best way to approach this problem is just to know that you can start working with one lens independently of the other, and then you will put the other one uh, in the picture and start solving for the other one. And now, once you find the image for the object in the front of the first lens, the image of that object for the first lens becomes the object for the second lens. Let's go on and see this good example that will demonstrate everything for us. Okay, so we have an object and this object is at six centimeters from the first lens. And lens number one, we call it F1. Lens number two, we call it F2. Since the object is away from lens number one that we named already, let's call, and it's six centimeters away, so I'm going to say O1, referring to this object, away from the first lens is equal to six centimeters. So this is given to be six centimeters here. Okay, all right. Now let's find the image of this object in the first lens. And we can do that using what? The, f the very famous equation, one over F is equal to one over I plus one over O. And since we are talking about F1, this would be I1, this would be O1. Okay, solving for this one, let's let's take this one here. So one over f1, f1 is nine, and this is a convex lens, so it's going to be positive nine is equal to one over i1. That's what we're trying to find. Plus one over o1. O is six. One over six. So one over i1 is equal to one over nine minus one over six. And solving for that, we can find that we can find that I1 is equal to minus 18 centimeter. Minus here means it's virtual. And now if we want to find, so this is where the object is. This is this is lens number one. So object is at uh, nine centimeters, uh, six centimeters away, and and the focal is nine centimeters. You can tell that the object itself is closer to the lens than the focal length, and that makes sense that we have a virtual image. All right, and now if we want to find the magnification, I'm going to call it M1 because that's for lens number one. M1 is equal to minus I over O. So minus minus 18 divided by the object and the object as we said is six centimeters away. So this would be three. Now positive three. This positive means it's upright and three means that it is bigger since it's bigger than one. Okay. Perfect. Now where is the object? The object is at 18. Where's the image? The image is at 18 centimeters from lens number one. Since the object is closer to the lens than the focal length, then the image, this is the only case, then the image will be on the same side as the object. So the image should be somewhere around here at about 18. So each each square is, is two centimeters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so the image would be somewhere around here and if i draw this very well so this would be like this this is going at six here okay 
and this here. So the extension, so these are what? The real rays, the extensions of them. So I'm going to make these like that. So the extensions meet here. And if I would drew this very, very well, so the image would be somewhere around here. So that's very important to recognize because this image will be the object for lens number two. So this is I1, which is equivalent to the object for number two. Okay. Now, how far is object number two from the second lens? So the distance here should be given and the distance between the two lenses is 10 centimeters. Okay, so this should be given. Okay, so if it's 10 centimeters and the image is 18 away from the first one, so 10 plus 18, that's so O2 basically is 28 centimeters because this is 10 and this is what 18 centimeters. Okay, good. So now 1 over F2. Again, F2 is positive because it's convex, is equal to 1 over I plus 1 over O. Now, F2 is 18, so 1 over 18 is equal to 1 over I plus 1 over 28. So now we are talking about F2, so this should be maybe I2, this should be O2. I should have done this before. And this is I2. So we're trying to find the second image in the second lens for the first image or the object for the second lens. Okay? All right. So 1 over I2 is equal to 1 over 18 minus 1 over 28. And with some calculation, we can find that I2 is equal to 50. 0.4 centimeters. First of all, this is positive, so it means that it is real. The image is real. Okay. Now let's see. We have um, the magnification is equal to minus I2 over O2. Now I2 is equal to 50.4 with a minus sign and O2 is equal to 28 and if you do this calculation you get minus 1.8 and no units here so this minus means that it is inverted and 1.8 means that it's bigger so now what do we need to do we will need to find the total magnification total magnification is equal to M1 times M2 M1 we found it to be 3 and M2 we found it to be 1.8 with a minus sign so the total magnification is minus 5.4 so this tells us that it is inverted and it's also bigger and these are the properties of the image that we're looking for and that's it thank you